in the realm of television's intricate tapestry, where narratives unfold like secrets waiting to be unraveled, there exists a series that defies convention and beckons the curious minds to step beyond the familiar boundaries of storytelling. Picture this, a quaint village cloaked in an enigmatic aura, where identity is a puzzle, and reality itself a shifting labyrinth. It was the year 1967 when The Prisoner graced our screens, an enigmatic concoction that transcended the norms of its time, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of television history. As you journeyed through the enigmatic corridors of that village, alongside the enigmatic number six, what resonated within you? Was it the haunting melody of that iconic theme, evoking a sense of unease and intrigue? Perhaps it was those surreal conversations, layered with cryptic meanings, as you navigated the psyche of this captive protagonist. The moment you glimpsed the colossal, mysterious sphere known as Rover, did your pulse quicken, your thoughts racing to comprehend its symbolism. And then there were the mind-bending episodes that demanded more than passive viewing. They demanded introspection. The interplay between conformity and individuality, the blurred lines between freedom and captivity, the exploration of the self and society. These were the threads woven meticulously into the show's fabric, provoking thoughts that lingered far beyond the final credits. Now, imagine unearthing the curtain on some lesser known gems about the prisoner. Did you know that Patrick McGuhan, the enigmatic number six himself, played an instrumental role not just as an actor, but as a co-creator of this cerebral narrative? Or that the amalgamation of psychological thriller, science fiction, and political allegory made it a genre-defying masterpiece. So, my fellow seekers of the intriguing and aficionados of the unconventional, as we delve into the clandestine tidbits of the prisoner, let us revisit that initial encounter, that first dance with the enigma that spurred countless discussions and ponderings. Let us reignite the echoes of our reflections, as we unlock the secrets of a show that has remained timeless in its mystique. The Prisoner TV series of 1967, unveiling the enigma behind the controversial finale in the summer of 1968. A captivating enigma swept across American television screens, intriguing audiences with its mind-bending narrative and surreal aesthetic. The Prisoner, a British TV series that originally aired in 1967, found its way onto American broadcasts, replacing a Jackie Gleason show for the season. With its futuristic setting and psychological twists, the show, created by and starring Patrick McGuhan, challenged the conventions of television drama. At the heart of the prisoner lay a central mystery, the identity of the ever-changing number two. Amid the rotating cast, two actors stood out for their recurring portrayal of this enigmatic character. Leo McKern's performances in episodes like Chimes of Big Ben, Once Upon a Time, and the series finale Fallout, showcased his versatility in embodying different facets of Number Two's persona. Similarly, Colin Gordon's appearances in The General and A, B, and C demonstrated his grasp of the character's complexity. Notably, other actors who donned the mantle of Number Two also left their mark, sometimes in dual roles within the series. However, it was the series finale that ignited unparalleled controversy. According to the legend that swirls around the production, Patrick McGuhan, who portrayed the indomitable number six, faced such backlash over the enigmatic climax that he reportedly had to retreat into hiding for a period. The elusive nature of the finale, which both intrigued and frustrated viewers, cemented the prisoner as a timeless piece of television history. As we reflect on the enigma that was the prisoner, we find ourselves drawn into its labyrinthine narrative, captivated by its shifting characters and surreal landscapes. Even after all these years, the show's legacy endures, challenging viewers to decode its intricate layers of meaning and symbolism. And perhaps, just like Number Six himself, we're all prisoners to the mysteries that persist within this television masterpiece. Rain-soaked streets and shadowy alleys painted a grim backdrop for the enigmatic 1967 TV series, The Prisoner. Hailed as a cult classic, the surreal drama captivated audiences with its mind-bending narrative and distinctive style. A standout quirk of the show was its seemingly contradictory weather patterns. While umbrellas were a common sight in the village, rain made its lone appearance in the episode A, B, and C despite the meticulous attention to detail. The series intentionally maintained this intriguing anomaly throughout its run. Notably, The Prisoner secured a spot at number 7 on TV Guide's prestigious list of the 25 top cult shows ever. This testament to the show's enduring appeal underscores its impact on pop culture 
and its lasting influence on the sci-fi genre. As for credits, the series took an unconventional turn with two episodes, Living in Harmony and Fallout, deliberately omitting the opening credits sequence. This departure from the norm added to the mystique of the show, leaving viewers both disoriented and captivated as they ventured deeper into the show's enigmatic world. In an era defined by formulaic television, the prisoner dared to be different. Its juxtaposition of ordinary and extraordinary elements, along with its puzzling narrative, made it a true anomaly of its time. Decades later, it still remains a cornerstone of cult television, ensnaring the imagination of new generations. From its weather oddity to its groundbreaking narrative choices, The Prisoner continues to stand as a testament to the power of defying conventions in storytelling, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of television history. Unveiling the enigmatic rover, the evolution of a surreal sentry in The Prisoner in the twilight realm of the 1967 TV series The Prisoner, where paranoia and intrigue reigned supreme, one enigmatic sentinel stood out, Rover. A once-planned robotic behemoth, it morphed into a surreal, floating balloon that haunted the village. This serendipitous transformation, born from a mishap in the creative mind of Patrick McGuhan, has left an indelible mark on television history. Initially envisioned as a mechanized entity, Rover was set to glide gracefully over water on concealed rails, a menacing presence in its own right. However, fate intervened during the filming of the inaugural episode. The massive contraption plunged from its rails into the water, leaving it damaged and incapacitated. In a moment of inspiration, Patrick McGuhan seized upon an unexpected sight, a passing weather balloon, and thus Rover emerged in its new, ethereal form. The eerie brilliance of the balloon's motion, pulled by a hidden wire, captured on film and subsequently played in reverse, forged an unforgettable image. Astonishingly, this impromptu improvisation has proven timeless. Rover remains an unsettling harbinger of surveillance, an anachronistic precursor to modern drones. While surrounding technological aspects of the series may have succumbed to the passage of time, the enduring allure of Rover stands untarnished. Rover aside, another curious facet of the prisoner remains intertwined with the show's legacy. Enter Peter Swanwick, the enigmatic actor behind The Supervisor. Tragically, Swanwick departed this realm before the series concluded its inaugural UK run, leaving an indelible void. His distinct enunciation of the phrase Orange Alert remains etched in memory, a testament to his captivating presence within the enigmatic narrative. In the kaleidoscope of the prisoner, where the boundaries of reality blur and the surreal takes shape, Rover stands as a testament to the unpredictable nature of creativity. An accidental mishap led to an iconic figure whose ethereal visage continues to captivate audiences, its legacy intertwined with the innovative spirit of a series that dared to defy conventions. A mysterious connection in The Prisoner, Patrick McGuhan and Number 6 share birth date in the enigmatic world of the 1967 TV series The Prisoner. A peculiar synchronicity emerges. Patrick McGuhan, the acclaimed actor and co-creator of the show, and his character known as Number 6, both take a curious connection to the date of March 19, 1928. This intriguing detail is unveiled in the episode titled Arrival, where the parallel birth date of McGuhan and his fictional alter ego is subtly revealed. As the story unfolds, McGuhan's character awakens in a bewildering and surreal environment called The Village, where his very identity is challenged. It's within this mysterious setting that the shared birth date is disclosed, adding another layer of mystique to an already enigmatic narrative. The symbolism of this shared birth date is a subject of much speculation among fans and critics of the show. Some interpret it as a reflection of McGuhan's deep immersion into his role, blurring the lines between actor and character. Others see it as a deliberate narrative device, meant to further disorient and intrigue the audience, aligning them with the perplexities faced by number six. The prisoner continues to captivate audiences with its thought-provoking themes and surreal storytelling. The coincidence of Patrick McGuhan and Number 6 sharing a birth date adds yet another layer of complexity to the show's intricate tapestry, leaving fans to unravel its true significance. 
A village of surveillance, the prophetic vision of the prisoner in the enigmatic world of the 1967 TV series The Prisoner, where individuality is suppressed and omnipresent surveillance reigns. A striking assertion emerges, the village serves as a prototype for global society. This audacious notion, voiced by one of the number two seconds, has garnered renewed attention as contemporary surveillance levels escalate, mirroring the show's ominous foresight. The fervent admirers of The Prisoner find its conjecture prophetic. The rise of public surveillance, notably in the 21st century, closely resembles the show's dystopian realm. CCTV cameras, now ubiquitous in developed nations, echo the unrelenting gaze of the village. Identification numbers, once confined to administrative functions, now entwine with daily life, much like the numerical designations integral to the village's inhabitants. In a peculiar convergence, the term global village resonates more profoundly, depicting a world where boundaries blur and surveillance tightens. While the series aired in a vastly different era, its relevance endures. The disquieting portrayal of a society under constant watch finds eerie parallels in contemporary discourse. The realm of the prisoner compels us to reflect on the ethical ramifications of unchecked surveillance, raising questions about the fragility of privacy and the balance between security and individual autonomy. As the ever-watchful eye of technology persists, the prisoner persists as a haunting reminder of the perils of unfettered surveillance. The village's prophetic proclamation reverberates through time, beckoning us to contemplate the price of a world tethered to omnipresent observation. As we unravel the enigmatic tapestry of the prisoner, its indelible mark on our minds is undeniable. Just as Number Six navigated the labyrinthine landscape of the village, we, too, find ourselves entangled in a web of mystery and intrigue. The echoes of every defiant declaration and every enigmatic exchange resound within us, mirroring the complex dance between individuality and conformity that the series so masterfully orchestrated. As you traverse your own personal journey through the enigma of the prisoner, take a moment to ponder the parallels between its surreal narrative and the intricate tapestry of your own experiences. What do you hold captive in your own village? What battles of identity have you waged, and what discoveries have you made along the way? Share with us your musings, your favorite moments, and the enigmatic riddles that continue to linger in your mind. Let your voice join the chorus of those who have ventured through the twists, and turns of the prisoner's narrative as we collectively celebrate the timeless allure of this iconic series. Your thoughts are the threads that weave this tapestry of reflections, an ever-evolving testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Thank you for embarking on this contemplative journey with us. Your time and curiosity are deeply appreciated as we come together to explore the labyrinthine depths of the prisoner. Share your insights, unlock the mysteries, and let your imagination roam free. Reflect, reminisce, and resound for the prisoner's enigma lives on through you.